Hi, today we are going to show how to import UBS data into SQL. So first, make sure you have to install the 7-zip. You can click on the first link to download if you are using 32 bits. And if you are using 64 bits, right, then you can click on the second link to download and install the 7-zip. So once you have done install the 7-zip, now let's go to the backup file. So I will show you how to extract the backup file by using 7-zip. So we have to right click 7-zip, extract to backup. So after we have extract, we can rename it. So after we rename it, do the same step for stock. So just right click, extract to backup. So we rename it to stop. Now in SQL, I will show you how to create new database. We have to press on the three dot button and create new database. Let's say the company name is SQL Sundram Berhad. We press on OK and double click on the new company. User and password both will be admin for a brand new company. If you will import opening balance from UBS, there is a setting you must do before you start the import. So let's go to tools, option, general ledger. So make sure you have set your financial start period and system conversion date. You can also refer our video on what is financial start period and system conversion date. After we have set it, we just press on OK. So now let's start the import. From file, data import, we click on the UBS account to select the backup file. and connect so for child account we have ready ticket and we have to just press on execute so once it's done we just press on ok and next one we will do for agent area project terms and currency execute so once this done before we import customer master account, we have to assign the spatial account type for customer. So we close this and we go to GL, maintain account. Make sure you have assigned the spatial account. So let's say for debtor control account, we just highlight on it and press on edit to assign it to customer control account do the same step for creditor and if you have other spatial account type like bank do the same step add it and assign it to bank account so once the assign done we have to go tools option from customer we have to choose the default control account for debtor and also for creditor and okay now let's go back to the file data import To import customer master account, you can choose whether you want to reformat your UBS customer and supplier code to follow SQL account. If yes, you have to just tick on this option. If you wish to remain your UBS customer code, then we just untick it. And if you will import opening balance for your customer, make sure do not reformat your UBS customer code. For import customer opening balance, we have 
two options. Either you can import opening balance by summary or if you wish to import all the debtor opening balance by transaction, we have to tick on all this box and execute. And then repeat the same step for supplier. So once import done, I will show you in customer, maintain customer, you can see all the debtor have import with outstanding. And if you wish to see the detail for the outstanding, you can also view the customer, customer invoice. So you can see all the opening balance have import one by one. And also, you can view your customer aging. All the outstanding balance from UBS have import. One more step to highlight is, if your import opening balance for debtor and creditor from UBS, make sure you must run year-end in your UBS. So you can also refer our next video on how to year end in UBS. Thank you.